Hi, it's Ben here from Wavemaker, and I'm going to give you a brief introduction to your Amazon Echo Show 8, the Amazon Alexa. In this video, we're going to talk about what happens when you get it out of the box, the stuff you've got in there, some of the basics around what it actually does, how to connect it to your internet network, how to register your device, and then how to get it to work. Then the idea is you then go and have a play. There will be a lot more videos following which will have things like how to connect it to your smartphone if you want to and other devices. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like. All the way through this video, there will be slides identifying the step-by-step -step process that you can see. So it's called the Echo Show 8. Now the Echo Show is the model number and eight refers to the eight inch di diameter of the screen. Now, the word or term Alexa is used to describe the personal assistant, the digital personal assistant that exists. So when you make commands, it's Alexa that responds to you. So sometimes that can be a bit confusing. People are saying my Amazon Alexa, my Echo Show. So for this video, we will refer to it as the Echo Show. So this is an incredible, an incredible device that can retrieve information. This smart speaker can retrieve information from the internet or multimedia. So information could be uh, the weather report, local weather. It could be travel updates. And multimedia could be images, it could be video clips, it could be TV shows. But there's a lot more to it than just this. If you connect it to third party hardware, you could even see who's at your front door when the doorbell rings. You could turn your lights on and off by using your voice and something like this. So, for me and for everybody, Alexa, this is a tool. This is a tool to set alarms, to set reminders. It can even check what your calendar is. If again, you pair it with your smartphone, this will allow you to make video calls through your Wi-Fi. So Alexa's made and Alexa's commands respond via your voice. No physical interaction is necessary. Even though this is a touch screen, Alexa will respond up to 10 meters away within your room. So it's very different to say a, a, a traditional computer or keyboard. So throughout this video, you're going to see loads of close-ups of just how to set this up in the step-by-step -step process. So let's have a look. When we unbox the device, this is what we're going to see. We'll have this and we'll have a power adapter. Very little else. Now, right away on the very front of the screen, if you can see there, we have in the top right-hand corner is the camera. It's an HD camera. And above that, on the strip at the top, we have an option to turn that lens off, to put a cover over it. Now, it's worth saying that the Alexa is not videoing all the time. It is not taking pictures all the time. But for peace of mind, for those who want to, you can close the camera. Alexa will only work to take photos if you command it to, or if someone tries to video call in or video call out. So then moving down, across the, the top of the device, we have three buttons. Now, the first button on the left, working across, this is the microphone mute button. If we press this, a thin red line, like you can see on the picture here, will come on. And that tells us that the microphone's actually turned off. So the microphone is not listening, it is not responsive. And if we say the wake word, which is Alexa, then it won't respond, it won't do anything. So again, that's, that could be anything from just peace of mind or if you just want to have it as a, as a clock uh, to have a look. Now, it's worth saying here as well in terms of privacy, Alexa is not listening all the time. It's not eavesdropping in on your every conversation. It is listening purely for that wake word. When it says Alexa, it then switches on and listens. Up until that point, it's on a two second loop. So there's no need to worry about that. Left across, so in the middle we have a volume button. Now the first one we come to is volume down, and then the second one is volume up. Now for an eight inch speaker, this packs quite a bit of a punch. So I tend to have mine on uh, in the middle, halfway. You'll see on the picture that you can use your fingers, but also you can obviously make a command to wake this up. So you've just got this device, you've opened the box, hurrah take it out, connect it to a power source. Now it's worth saying that this device, although not portable, if you want to move it from room to room, all you need to do is after this installation process first time is just unplug it 
and you can move it to anywhere else that has a plug. And this same process will happen again. So when you plug it in first time, you'll be greeted with an echo screen as it starts to load up and then getting your device online. At this point, you can choose from the first time installation what language you want your Alexa to have text in. This isn't going to speak to you in a different language. This is just the text. Once we click continue, it will now search for your nearest network. This is our Wi-Fi network, our internet. And you'll get a list of networks that are displayed that will then you will click on and type in the password for your network using your fingers and then click done. Once you then connect, you will get this screen. At this point, the Alexa might need to do an update. Once you've connected it, it will automatically update. But if this has been in the box for a couple of months, then it might need an update, which could take anywhere between one to three minutes. So just let that happen. Now, the next screen is to connect it with your Amazon account. Do not worry if you don't have an Amazon account, but if you have one, this is where you put in your email address uh, that you've used to register your Amazon account and your password. If you haven't, you will need to create one. Now it's free and the reason we do this or they do this is so that the two can be linked together. That doesn't necessarily mean that straight away you can go shopping online or anything like this. It's just to register the account with yourself. If all you do is set up your Amazon email address and then never go on Amazon, that's completely fine. But this is where you would set it up and put in your details. We can see on the next screen that my Echo Show knows it's registered to me and it will show up in my list of devices when I look at my phone. So now I get to choose the uh, time zone where, uh, the, the, where I am in the world. And if I've registered it correctly with my Amazon account online using the password and email, it will know where I live. So it will say, is this the right address? If there are other addresses linked to your name and your Amazon account, they will show up here too. So this could be uh, a mother's, parents, it could be grandkids, whatever, but you want your address. Now, the reason for this is for weather location. So when you say, Alexa, what's the weather like today? It will know what the weather's like in your area. Okay, so we wanna click continue. This next screen, shows you a list of options. If you've already created groups about where to put it. If you have more than one device, you might want to have a living room setting. You might want to have a few in the kitchen. So this is where you could do that or you could skip. Now we can give it a name, give it a name, whatever you want. Again, this only really comes into play if you have more than one device. So you could say, Alexa, play music in the kitchen. Alexa, play music in the bedroom. Alexa, play music to Ben's show eight, whatever it might be. So what we have now is an opportunity to change the, the wallpaper. This is a beautiful eight inch screen, uh, high definition that we can then put images on. And we get a few choices here when we start up, such as illustration, we have travel, we have uh, uh, places, uh, we have art. So you can choose one. In a further video, we will look at syncing it with your smartphone app. So then you could put your own private photos on there and your own personal photos. So it's lovely on your desk. It might, it's a beautiful, almost digital uh, picture frame with scrolling images. So congratulations, we've done it. We've plugged it in. We've worked through those processes. We've connected it to the internet and now it's ready to go. Generally, this is what you will see. We've got a nice, lovely image in the background. We've got some information on there. We've got the clock. It tells us what time it is. We've got the weather, which is specific to where I currently live. We have an in-depth weather, which tells us what it's going to be like in six hour increments for the day. And then we have some tips across the bottom. So this says, Alexa, play happy music. Now, we can leave it at that. That's fine. But we want to talk about how do we actually use this device? How do we make it work? So making sure the microphone is turned on, i.e. there's no red line. We just want to say the wake word, which is Alexa. 
So we would just say Alexa. The second we say that, if it's been heard, a thin blue line will come across the bottom of the screen and that tells us that it's awake and it's listening to what we're about to say and we can give it a command. So we could ask it a general knowledge question. We could ask it uh, what the time is in New York, what the weather is like anywhere. We could ask it who played uh, in the World Cup final. Uh, we could ask any, any information that we might normally search via the internet using a tablet or computer. We can use our voice, but there's much, much more. We can ask it to play music. We can say play Smooth FM and any digital radio station is free. We could ask it for recipes. We could ask it for much, much more. There will be a video later on following this, which will highlight some of the other things. So finally, just before I go, it's worth saying that, yes, this is controlled by your voice. This is a, a, a smart speaker connected to the internet that will respond to voice command. But also a lot of it, in the meantime, without before you get to your phone, can be done using your fingers. So you can access some of the settings to change the, the obviously the brightness, uh, put it into do not disturb. We can go into settings to change how big the clock is, how if we have subtitles and all the rest. Now this will all be shared in future videos, but for now, well done. You've got the box out, you've plugged it in and you're ready to go. So we suggest go and have a play with your device and we'll see you uh, soon with some more videos and tips. Thank you very much.